Graham Hewson. I'm a freelance professional master photographer based in Renfrewshire, Scotland. It's been a, a very exciting week for me. This week I was awarded Fellowship of the Master Photographers Association, the MPA, which is the highest uh, accolade or the highest qualification available in our profession. And I've been involved in the MPA for three or four years. Two years ago I qualified at the entry level, which was the licentiate. I then uh, qualified at associate level last year and then uh, took the, the bold step this year to go for my fellowship. Earlier this year in March at the Scottish Master Photographer Awards I was blessed to win the overall photographer of the year uh, as well as being the overall portrait photographer of the year and the commercial photographer of the year. Uh, and those uh, tremendous honours, you know, especially as the competition you were up against was so great, gave me the confidence to press ahead and try out for the FMPA letters. The process is quite a, a daunting one. With any of the, the, the qualifications beforehand, you have to produce 20 images that are going to be put in front of a panel of world-renowned judges who are all at the highest level. And those uh, panels can be whatever style of photography you want to enter. Uh, and incidentally, two years ago when I entered licentiate level, I came with a, a wedding panel and a portrait panel. And the wedding panel actually failed. Now that could, at the time, was, uh, was so deflating, but it could have been the best thing that happened uh, in the long run, because it made me realise that the standard required to be a master photographer was so great and so high, and there was work to be done uh, before I could achieve that. Um, every month uh, they have critiques by the, the chairman, Ray Lowe, and I've, I've got involved in all of those, and that has definitely raised the bar for me. I know that for a fact. Uh, and I've been blessed to win each of the, the, the different areas in the UK that he uh, puts the competitions out at. But the reason for Entham is not to win them, the reason to enter was so that I could learn and I could become a better photographer and I could try and excel at every photo shoot I get involved in. My licentiate panel two years ago that I had for portraits, however, did pass and it quite a strong pass in that. That was great to have that, that title of a master photographer. Everybody understands the master chef analogy, you'll get people that cook, you'll get people that bake professionally, but then you'll get someone who's a master chef who's excelled at their craft, and it's the same with master photographers. Uh, a master chef can then go into two Michelin stars, uh, and then a third Michelin star, and associate and fellowship of the master photographers is kind of the same. So last, uh, last year, when I went from my associateship in portraits, I decided to reset my licentiate in weddings because I'd learned so much and I wanted to tick that box and I'm glad that I'd done that. Now my panel last year for the associateship involved quite a lot of green screen work, um, which is an area that I really enjoy working in. Um, I photographed um, some musicians, uh, which is something I'm quite passionate about myself. I play the piano and it's always good when you're doing a panel to, to focus on an area that you enjoy uh, and an area that's going to inspire you. The other area that I did for my associate panel was Bible photography. I've illustrated in the past 40 or 50 children's storybooks in that, in that kind of area. Um, I came from a graphic design and illustration background, kind of before I came into photography. So I decided to get in a lot of characters and replicate some of the great Bible stories, and that was so much fun to work on. And thankfully that passed my associate panel. However, fellowship is a, a much greater uh, step, and everything you've learned up to that point is going to be assessed at a much higher level. And the judges at this point are now looking for several more things. They're looking for an artistic flair, something that's going to separate you from other photographers. They're looking for a style that can be uniquely yours and the craftsmanship and the level at which you're using a camera and your equipment has to be impeccable. They're going to also judge the, the quality of the printing. Uh, they're going to judge the wow factor of your panel and Really the whole concepts involved in what you've done, they're going to be looking for a creative control that's, uh, that's unbeatable. So yeah, a lot to consider. I made the decision to go with metallic paper, Loxley Colour in Cumbernauld. I've used them for many years, they're a terrific supplier. And they put together a few different samples for me, but it was clear that the metallic paper made the images look really 3D and gave them just that extra punch, which worked really well with a sports panel. When I went for my fellowship, I got some great advice from Trevor and Frey Yerbury at the start of the year, who singled out my sports portraits as being an area where I was 
uh, excelling and they looked at my panel and very helpfully guided me down that direction. I'd already photographed a, a young Rangers player called Cami Palmer and he, uh, he came to the studio and we tried out some green screen stuff and did some really cool, cool images and something I loved doing I thought those, those would be great for my, my, my sports panel and I uh, started to invite athletes along to work with me. I put an advert out on Facebook in the local area with a price list and saying, does any uh, athlete want to come and have their, their portrait taken in this style? And before long, we had a, a great interest from ice hockey players to female bodybuilders to rugby players to some motocross, mixed martial arts. And people from all different walks of life that were involved in sport started to get in touch. And perhaps uh, the highlight of that was when Team GB athletes and sprinters started getting involved and coming along for their, their photo shoots. So, we created more images than were needed and then working with my, my mentor Hoss, who was very helpful during the process, started to look at images that would have worked well as a set of uh, fellowship panel images. From there you have to actually produce what we call a working profile booklet. Uh, it's a 28 page booklet that shows that your business is reputable, it has to have um, all your health and safety things in it, it's got to have all your your workflow, it's got to have a bit about your CV, your background, your advertising and it's just to show that that business is something that the MPA can can fully um, get behind and promote. So that working profile booklet takes a lot of time you have to have lighting diagrams to show the judges that you're using equipment that is right for the job and that your choice and style of uh, equipment is something that's, uh, that's correct. For all of the images I used the exact same lighting pattern um, you have to have a feel and a cohesion throughout your set. I used six, six strobe lights and those were hard lights rather than soft lights. It's a style I like working and I love hard light. It sculpts out and shapes all the athletes, their physiques and their, uh, their different equipment they use for their, their sports. And hard light is something that, um, that worked really well. Two lights to light up the, the green screen and four lights on the athlete. I like to do a lot of rim lighting from the back. Um, and using kind of grids and, and so on can, uh, can be really uh, advantageous to, to that style of photography. So I used the same lighting patterns but just moved them around depending on what way I wanted the athlete to face. When you're putting a panel together it's very important to think about how it's going to look as an end result. So I would uh, sketch the ideas out beforehand, I always like to do that. I'll sit with an iPad Pro and sit and draw and sketch ideas first before I even go and start taking any photos. Uh, the backgrounds were all created by myself by a mixture of digital art and composite photography. I would go and photograph stadiums, running tracks, mountains, ski lifts. Anything that was going to be part of that set would be something I would create myself and then bring it in in Photoshop and overlay them with the, the kind of cutouts I'd done of each of the, the athletes. So it was a lot of fun uh, and a, a really technical process. But uh, the end results, I think, hopefully speak for themselves. The fact that they were awarded some great feedback from the judges, um, I think was something that, that meant a lot to me. Travelling down to the awards, you're always worried that you've not done enough. Uh, when you're so close to a project, it's hard to visualise how it looks from someone else's point of view. Uh, and obviously, I've been assessed at that level. Um, there's room for, for trepidation, but thankfully, I, I was invited back in and my illustrative panel was deemed worthy of fellowship and to be told that you're equal with all the judges in that room was something I'll never forget. To the future, um, I've already had a, a very kind message from the chairman, what he said about me real low was something that meant the world and he's also indicated he wants me involved now in, in mentoring other photographers come up to the ranks and to be ultimately involved in judging some, some other panels for, for other photographers and that would be an honour that I would uh, certainly love to be involved in. Last thing I would like to say is that the Master Photographer's motto is together we are stronger and I have really found this without a doubt. The other photographers I've met, I've met so many friends, so many interesting people that have helped me through this, this journey to get to where I am. And, uh, I think the family, no one's your rival, everyone's your family, they're all there to help you and to, to share their, their professional experiences with each other. 
and I've really enjoyed being part of the MPA and uh, I will always be grateful for everything I've learned and I will continue to learn, this is not the end. As a photographer you always have to raise the bar and keep going forward and having a fellowship under your belt is something that gives you the confidence to, to keep doing that.